What's up everyone? I'm back with another vlog. I'm literally so exhausted. I stayed up editing another YouTube video last night and that is supposed to go live either today or tomorrow. But I'm just glad that I got done editing and doing like all the shenanigans that I needed to do. You guys saw my last video. I had like this whiteboard in my room. So I started a habit tracker which has been doing me good. I just started literally yesterday so you guys can see that. And then I have some check marks for like basically the week. And then I always write something to just keep me going and if i'm stressed and stuff i'm just here like okay well remember why you're fighting so hard i'm really sorry if you guys can hear the heater but it's cold in here so what's new at this point today i woke up at around 10 to 12 p.m so i'm going to color in that square um i took my daily vitamins already so yeah And I did my bed this morning. I'm trying to do morning walks and meditate, but I'm finding that it's like not fitting into my schedule anymore. So I might just take those two off and meditate whenever I need to. Most of the time, I only meditate when like I'm really, really stressed out. Over here, I edited my YouTube video and that is pretty much checked. I updated my Google Calendar. I'm also thinking of going to take some IG pictures today with Elena just because I need some content in. And I might shoot multiple outfits just because there's been so many outfits that I've been wanting to do. I've had my nails for so long and they're growing out so bad and they're so crusty and everything, but they're still on. Like usually by now, like a nail pops off. I feel like I definitely am ready for something new now. I am getting my hair cut on October 1st. The rest of October is literally so booked for me, but I like keeping myself busy, so... I do stay home like a lot. I only film when like I am going out, but I stay home a lot and I stay up really late to work on all my videos because I just want to be so consistent and I'm just so dedicated right now. So I'm just gonna keep staying dedicated and remembering why I'm working so freaking hard. So that brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. That's H-E-L-P, BetterHelp. I'm really happy that BetterHelp contacted me to do a sponsorship with them because I'm such a big advocate for mental health. So I just want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. It literally means so much to me that I have a sponsorship that promotes mental health. With my own experience, you guys know I've been dealing with self-sabotaging and self-criticism and just not treating myself really nicely in here. If you guys feel that way, if you guys are in a stump, if you guys feel like you guys are in a rut, BetterHelp will help you assess your needs and match you with a licensed therapist. You can start communicating with a licensed therapist within 48 hours. They are not a crisis line and they are not a self-help. It is professional therapy done securely online. They have a 20,000 plus therapist network online. Not only that, but their service is worldwide and you can log into your account and message your therapist anytime. BetterHelp is also very committed to facilitating good therapeutic matches. That means that it is easy and free to change your therapist if you didn't feel like your therapist was the right one for you, which I'm very, very happy about. And BetterHelp wants to help you today. So make sure you guys visit their website at betterhelp.com slash char and join a million people who are taking charge of their mental health with an experienced professional. If you guys start today by clicking the link in the bio at betterhelp.com slash char, you guys will save 10% off your first month. I have some chores I gotta do, some like big girl chores I gotta do. I gotta be on the phone and I hate being on the phone with people. I've been planning my entire life on Google Calendar and it's helped me. It's literally changed my freaking life. Chores today is to clean closet. I gotta call my insurance company today. I have to order a cake through the phone and I need to ship out a package. I gotta get my laundry because they wanna do laundry and I totally forgot that my laundry was in there. So I realized you guys actually never see this small little bathroom that I have downstairs. Looks like this. It's very, very small. And it doesn't have a shower or anything, but I keep 
have all like my skincare and stuff in here. These are my childhood snacks. These are Nutty Buddies. And I used to call them Nutty Bars. Some people Nutty Bars, Nutty Buddy. I don't know. I call them Nutty Bars usually. Let us know down in the comments which one do you guys like? White chocolate, milk chocolate, or dark chocolate? Call me freaking weird. I will just eat this by itself. Boom. Bitch. Ah, look at Joseph's doggo. He's so fat. He doesn't look that big, but trust me, he's big. So me and Elena are gonna go take pictures. Now it's dark outside, so we can take some flash pictures. Gang. We out here. Um, we're gonna take some pictures at this cool parking lot. It is so pretty outside right now. Not even sure if the camera can get that. Oh yeah, looks like that, okay? Looks beautiful, so. Update guys, she's on the thingamabob. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, there's a bug up here. Oh. Where? What's up, gang? We look so wide. Look the lighting. <laughs> what happened? Okay, so me and Elena just got done. Uh, we'll show you guys the results and everything. Cause uh, we're gonna go home and I'm gonna like airdrop them to Elena because they only look good when I airdrop them to her. So we're just gonna go hang out at home. My cheekbones look like. <laughs> Did you see that? Your cheekbones have always been in like that. I've noticed. <laughs> but we cute or whatever we really out here her what time is it oh i don't know it, it's only eight okay guys we're going home to get off photos i'm hungry i'm hungry too i was gonna ask you i was like you want to go get food i'm hungry we can go get food <laughs> Welcome. Oh, 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 I'm so. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I just woke up. <laughs> okay. Good morning, guys. So me and my mom are heading to the mall. It is not good morning. It is 12:19 p.m. It's good afternoon. No, I say good morning. I just actually woke up at like 10, around actually 9, like 9:40, and um, we're on our way to the mall because my mom needs to go buy some heels and a blush. And so I'm just going for emotional support. Um, this mirror though, mom. I know it's everything. I need it in my life. I do. Look how big it is. <laughs> Anyways, fit check. You need your bedroom to be this tall. Yeah, I know. By the way, this is my favorite sunglasses spot. They sell all my favorite sunglasses here. I'm eating an acai bowl. It's the strawberry something at Jamba Juice and it's so good. Go get it. It's so delicious. And then I have a mega mango and then my mom just got piata again. But this is freaking delicious and it's so cute. I've been working 24 7 for the past like what week. I think that's like the great thing is that I found out that you know I don't have to wake up early. I'm vlogging in public and this is honestly kind of scary but. What's up guys? So I'm currently in the living room and I am just being productive on my laptop. I'm about to update a YouTube description. I'm watching The Voice because Ariana Grande is the coach this year and I'm so excited so I'm watching and it's so good. It was an important day for my mom. We celebrated something and I bought her a cake and everything as you guys can see. And we all went to dinner. Today was kind of like my day off of doing a lot of things other than vlogging. I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna do my hair care routine first though. I'm gonna comb out my hair. But today was one of those days where I just felt so exhausted. And I don't know if it's because I've been working so much and trying to socialize too you know and get myself out there learn new things and put myself in situations where you know i can grow as a person too many times because like i always just feel like there's always going to be room for growth i literally could not get out of bed today i have no idea why because i went to sleep like pretty early to be honest but it just felt so difficult to get out of bed and I'm just like, dude, like not this again, you know, like, you know, the feeling when you're going back and I feel like the universe is testing me right now. So I'm like, bro, like, I don't want to stay in bed all day. Today's just was a 
freaking hard day just to get out of bed and i feel like i never show you guys that it is so difficult sometimes for me um, i finally feel like i figured out the reason why and it's because i'm anemic and i forgot that i'm anemic and if you don't like take your supplements like daily and stuff like that one of the things that can happen is that it makes it very difficult to get out of bed and you feel very very tired and i'm already feeling a lot better i don't know how to explain the feeling of it because i feel like you can only say so much but to actually be anemic and understand how hard it is to get up in the mornings oh my god it's like a whole nother level of fuck everything in my life <laughs> this is something i've been ignoring for so long because i knew that the iron pills that i had prescripted to me before they made me feel so sick but now i'm not ignoring it because i'm now realizing how detrimental it was to me so yeah i am on a roll of taking these vitamins and my iron pills i'm not sure if those are vitamins i don't freaking know on the daily now because they definitely make me feel a lot better physically you know it's all about working on yourself and this is a way that i need to work on myself and i need to take care of my body and it needs to be more important to me i haven't just been taking care of my body i've been taking care of my aura and where i choose to put my energy towards and who i let like in my life environmentally um i'm really picky these days it's just like a personal preference thing because i know i can't handle a lot of socializing from this morning bro i feel like energized i feel so much freaking better and it's probably because i also took b12 but like my headache that like nasty feeling in my head that i feel like you know i get in the mornings when i feel like that it's gone so you know what i'm so freaking happy best shit that ever changed my freaking life i am never ignoring my health ever again me my mom her boyfriend and uh, my mom's boyfriend's niece is going and we're just gonna go watch shang chi so i'm so excited so excuse the mess in my room right now but this is my outfit for watching shang chi it should just represent <laughs> anyways um i have some of these socks on they almost feel like shoes but i'm just gonna throw my broken socks on because honestly i'm not here to impress anybody i came to watch shang chi okay what's up guys this is my outfit i'm just wearing some leggings my room is so dirty right now but um i'm just wearing this shirt and um yeah i'm calling it a day so we're gonna go to my little cousin's birthday party and just to go and celebrate and hang out they got like a blow up obstacle course bougie as hell like shit, i ain't never got that shit for my birthday but all right mind you they're like little little kids so yeah but this is what i'm wearing to a family function because um i want to be warm and it's kind of cold today so okay what's up guys i'm about to put aquaphor on my burn I got this burn like maybe a few days ago. I didn't vlog basically when I was at my family event and I knew that I really wasn't going to vlog that much. Just because there's a lot, a lot of kids. YouTube does demonetize videos with like kids in it. Um, not only that, but there's like a lot of other kids who, you know, I wasn't sure if their parents like wanted them to be on social media like that. So it's just like out of respect for like other people and their children. There were so many dogs. There was like five dogs. So my mom wants to take me to the casino tonight. Mind you, I turned 19 this year and I still have never gone to go and gamble like in my life. Are you drinking tea? Yeah. Is this tea good? Because it's it smells. Amazing. It smells. Ta introduced me to. It smells so, it to me. so delicious. Good. The best. I'm gonna try some but my mom wants to take me to the casino so that I can break my casino virginity or whatever I can't believe I didn't do it last year, but then again, like none of us really like gamble like that That's all we're doing. The only reason why we're going is because my mom basically stepped in a piece of poop from a dog Apparently like that's like good luck or whatever So that's the reason why my mom wants to go to the casino I can't even stand at the table to watch you play, huh? Yeah, you can are you sure? Are there like certain rules that I need to know? It smells like so citrusy. No, it's not. It's fruity. Same shit. No, it's not. Citrus and fruity are two different things, bro. If y'all know me, I'm like not the greatest person about tea. I don't like tea that much. 
but this smells better than it tastes let me just say that right now but um i have my little iron tablet here and i just got my iron tablets from target hopefully it doesn't make me feel weird when i go to the casino later sorry guys but i just feel like maybe maybe i've just been so sheltered all my life but I just feel like I'm not even old enough to go gambling. You know, I feel like I'm still like 16. Bro, my mom is mad at me because I want to go in my Burks, bruh. Bro, can you put some other shoes on? I just want to wear my Burks, bruh. They're so easy. I don't have to like shove my foot into anything. Actually, I was wearing these. Oh, yeah, you wore those. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. We're going to the casino. Okay, so me and my mom are currently in the casino parking lot, right? But I'm not gonna bring you guys in because I'm not so sure like the rules and stuff. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But um, I will update you guys after we come whether we lost money or we won some money. We probably gonna lose. Yeah, we probably are gonna lose. But I brought my crystals, you know, just in case. Um, you know, spirit guides, please. I just I just need to meet, win some money. Thank you very much. <laughs> so we went right, and uh, we didn't win anything. It was more for the experience. Yeah. So what did you learn, Shar? Um, I just learned how to play like a certain slot game, and then like what we is were it just. Called? It's called Kino. Mm -hmm. My mom played blackjack, and I was allowed to watch. I wasn't sure if I was allowed to watch though, cause like I've seen some crazy ass movies and shit, and you know they be doing some sneaky shit at the freaking casinos or whatever. So I was like, mm -mm, like I don't know if I'm allowed to stand there. Like I don't know if they gonna think I'm sus or whatever. Like they gonna kick my ass out. I noticed that like I was nervous standing at the tables, and I kept touching my bracelet. So, like every person that came to the table, they were looking at me touching my bracelet. Oh my god. You're coming so fast, homie. We almost died. Okay, but you know, for all the people who are like 18 and up, if y'all looking for dates or a sneaky link or whatever, definitely go to the casino. At least they're of age. I don't know their history here though. I don't know if they broke and they just came or they got an addiction to gambling. But um, there's a lot of kids that actually do come and gamble. And I didn't realize that, but I guess because I just like don't go gambling myself. What is up guys? I'm honestly not in the safest part of the neighborhood um, But I'm going to get my hair cut today I just feel like I no longer resonate with my long hair If anything, I feel like it's holding me back so hard I have no idea why my mind like links my hair to what I'm going through in life But for some reason like my long hair is just pissing me off these days It's just like I don't know. I just need like something new, something lighter too. I'm tired of taking care of my long hair. It's like, you know, healthy and it's absolutely beautiful. And I love curling my hair when my hair is so long, but I'm tired of it. And I'm probably going to regret this after, but I think in a way, cutting your hair and doing stuff to your hair, it just makes you feel like you actually have control of your life or, con or control of anything, especially when your life is just like so everywhere, you know? So like, I am just gonna cut my hair today and call it a day. So this is long hair Char, you know, um, has no frame to her face at all. It's just super long, shiny, brown, bleached, you know. Your girl is tired of her long hair, so um, it's short now. Isn't this crazy? I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and be there like, what the fuck did I do to myself? But it's like, whatever. 